Hello and welcome everyone to the Friday, March 24th edition of the Contributor Comms team meeting. A reminder, we do operate under a code of conduct which basically says to be respectful of your fellow attendees and speakers and generally be excellent to each other. And I have the notes up for today. I don't see anyone new in, but if anyone wants to introduce yourselves, you're of course welcome. Um, you can either use the chat or you can unmute. Um, I think I have everyone in the notes. I have put the notes in the chat. Um, if you have any updates, big wins or new items, make sure that you have uh, added those in here or of course we'll talk about them. So we'll work it out. Give folks a couple seconds. I will freely admit I'm behind on my things. So <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit, uh... Sure. Yeah, so uh, as assigned to me, I did manage to, you know, transfer the data from the table to the board. To the board. Yeah. Nice. Thank <laughs> Way to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, the, the board is looking good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I yes. Can we delete the table? Do you feel like we can delete the table? Because that would be like a huge achievement. I don't think we're quite there. Damn we're it. getting close. Though. <laughs> yeah. It's very close. Very close. Look, we have like, we have like a page and a half. This thing used okay. to be like seven or eight pages seven, long, eight, and it's like a page yeah. and a half now. So we're okay, almost cool. there. That was Avinesh, right? Who was saying that they moved things? Yep. Couldn't see who was talking. Thank okay. you, Avanesh. Appreciate it. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, there is one big update that uh, I wanted to quickly go over. Not that we have much information on it yet, but um, it sounds like the Linux Foundation did actually decide to make a Mastodon server. <laughs> that got right added to my list decided... yesterday. Yeah, right after we decided to give up waiting for them. <laughs> so we said, I think, in the last meeting that we did have a Mastodon account. Yes. Um, and and now so now we're going to have a different Mastodon account. I will we hadn't even migration. integrated it into Buffer or anything yet. No, so. <laughs> I still need to ask. Uh, who am I asking about that? Jeefy? Let me ask him real quick. But yeah, keep going. Um, That's it for what I had in here. There is one other thing I think I want to mention right now, which is also in the in the board. So I didn't need to mention it right now, but I want to, <laughs> which is um, KubeCon EU tweet planning. Um, that is ready to go. We mentioned that last time. Anyone who wants to get involved as a new contributor who might want to write some tweets is welcome. If you want to share that with your networks, Say, hey, if you want to uh, contribute to Kubernetes in a fun way by writing some tweets for KubeCon, um, let us know in the contributor comm Slack channel. Probably just point them there. Um, that way they have a place to ask questions and we can point them to the doc and everything. Um, so feel free to share on social media. I usually post in SIG ContribX and I haven't done that yet. Um, very welcoming task for anyone new to the project. We usually have several folks each year who contribute to it and then we pretty much don't see them again. Hopefully they find other homes within the project, but <laughs> that's kind of how contribution goes. <laughs> um, so yeah, do share the uh, tweet information about the tweet planning and point them to our Slack channel uh, as the resource for that. We only have three weeks. <laughs> so uh, yeah. We need to get that done and we need to, so we'll need to collect all of the tweets, write all of the tweets probably within the next two weeks. Um, and then the last week before KubeCon, I usually try to reserve to get all of those scheduled in buffer, um, which Sujay, you offered to help with. Natish, you also offered to help with this. Um, so I'll reach out to you too after this yes. and tell you more details about that. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, I guess we have started planning about the uh, tweet planning. Uh, I see a bunch of tweets have been written, although I shared it on the Sikh Contribute channel as well. And I was planning to share it among the in-dev channel as well, because I see a couple of new contributors can get involved by um, writing the tweets for the KubeCon. So it's a great way. And just wanted to mention that um, tweet planning has actually been started. So it's just on the way. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate the help. <laughs> uh, so need to share widely tweet writing should be completed within the next two weeks. Um, presence will cover scheduling during the week before QCon. Okay, um, so that's all the updates, big wins that I had, I think. Um, do we want to mention any updates about the registry change that happened this uh, week? Anything I've got, big I mean, so I've got some historical data on that. The, the change is still <laughs> being rolled out. Oh, uh, there was the delay on Monday because of some back end storage like syncing issues and uh, other okay. issues as well. So once they got that all fixed, they started the rollout again, uh, just a little bit slower. And then it's in like full swing right now. It's almost done, I feel like, but Ben just posted an update. Let me go check. Okay, cool. So everything I has gone seen a whole smoothly lot on the updates so far. <laughs> no, like it's gone pretty okay. smooth, but it's pretty much all happening in the the Sig Infra channel. So, um, let's see. Looks like EU has fallen off tremendously uh, the past couple of days, so that's a good sign. But yeah, uh, if you want to look for stuff, just go to the Sig Kate's Infra Slack channel and there's updates all over the place. So yeah, Ben's okay, been Okay, so the Infra that channel is where to look for updates. Yeah, and he's been very good about like, hey, I've seen something weird. Does anyone know anything okay. anything about this? And, you know, I've pulled in folks from JFrog to look at Artifactory and yeah, you know, it's just... Right now, it's just like watching uh, watching the bits move from one place to another and figuring out all the little subtleties of things. Yeah, I've been hearing about it some from Bob, but not like actual updates, just complaining about how terrible it is, it's, <laughs> which is totally it, reasonable. <laughs> it, yeah, like this is long overdue. I hope folks realize that, right? Like if you're ever in a new project and all of a sudden you join a foundation, you need to migrate all that infrastructure to the foundation as fast as possible. <laughs> right. So Indeed. just keep that in mind. Like this is geez, like five years overdue, I feel like. And it it's going to just still be a problem. I feel like next year until we shut it off or whenever that happens. Yeah. yeah. So, so if anyone yeah. had missed that context, <clears throat> by the way, we um, GCR case.gcr.io, is that mm -hmm. what it is? Um, was the old registry where we put all of our images. Um, we now have registry.case.io, which is much better in many ways. So we're trying to get folks moved over. So this week we um, did a redirect of the old uh, URL to the new URL, but that's only a temporary fix. We really need people to change things to specifically mention specifically reference the the new registry and it's very very important for the project <laughs> for the health of the project <laughs> so if you can help spread the word on that uh please do all right so with that uh any other new items that folks want to talk about we got any oh um i did see a uh a PR or an issue came in. I think it was a PR came in um, in the contributor tweets repo. I think it's it was a, an update to the link to Twitter together. Apparently it's not in, in the creator's like account 
repo anymore. He like moved it into a more like public location, I think. Um, so the URL for Twitter together changed and that's referenced in our doc. So um, I can't remember exactly who it was right the second. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn it. But um, someone very kindly made a PR to update that in uh, that repo. So um, I was best to review it, but anyone with reviewer privileges, approver privileges in contributor tweets could check that out and approve it. Um, so you're welcome to check that out if anyone wants to test out their new approver privileges in contributor tweets. <laughs> All right, that's the only new item I know of. Um, there was some survey going on. I don't remember exactly. I did share in our channel, but it seems that we are supposed to promote that. Chris is something involved with that. So, wait, say that again. Oh yeah, oh, I remember so, seeing that. Yeah, there was a posted. survey. Wait, I don't, I'll just yes, it's yes. Yeah, someone posted about a survey that they wanted comms for, but I didn't know anything about it leading up to it sometimes yeah, we have folks who like try to share surveys with the community that don't meet our guidelines for surveys right. in which case we would not actually do comms for it even though they've requested it so we'll need to look at it and see what it is <laughs> so here's the link perfect was it posted in the comms channel sorry it was in oh, no, the github issue. oh okay hang on yeah that's what i thought Um, uh, is it the Josh Gavant one from Wednesday? Yeah, it is. The, I mean, at, tag app delivery, I, I would happily share things out for them because they are part of like GitOps and all of that. So, I feel like this is something. I don't see the link for that in this one. Could it actually be a different one? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm looking at the, the message. You sent a doc. and Yeah, but it's not 7176, which is what Avanesh sent. Right. Avanesh, who did that one come from? Oh, wait. I'll check again. That's from uh, Laura. Laura Lawrence. Oh, yeah. And that's, it is, I feel so. like. That's uh, released. I think that's already out. Yeah, because I remember okay. answering it. Oh, yeah, because you're here. Yeah. You are the release comms lead this time, so makes sense Damn for you it. to handle that. Damn cool. Right. So there's that one, but also there's another one. <laughs> yes, there's two now. Um, okay. We have an issue template for these, right? I feel I like think we do. Yeah. <laughs> in in Contribex. Yeah. Uh, uh, running a survey in April sounds like a really bad idea, to be honest with you. Berka said. Oh, Berka said, no, that's all for. Kubernetes community surveys. You want to work with CNCF staff, particularly Taylor, on the survey you want. He can help with composition. Yeah, so he's taking it to the CNCF. Okay. So okay. Don't worry about Josh. We can worry about this other one from Laura. Okay, cool. So it looks like you already did some work on there. If more is needed and you need any help, you know where to find us. We don't have to worry about that. Yay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Avnesh, for calling that out. Um, definitely also saw that come by and then did not look at it. So I really appreciate that we have folks who pay attention. <laughs> I try to, but it's been one of those weeks. Yeah. We all try and some of us succeed <laughs> at any given moment. <laughs> That's how it works. 
Cool. All right. I see that you put something about Mastodon in there, too. I should probably read that later. Uh, just, well, now it's all changed, so, or it's going to. Yeah, <laughs> no, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> right, like, I'm just going to migrate the account. We didn't have that many followers, I don't think, yet, so. Thankfully, yeah. Mastodon allows you to do that. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, we're moving into the board. Um, hey. 23 minutes in that's pretty good i think <laughs> um oh, all righty one update i need to put this in yes Hang on. good uh i moved the zapier job from nigel's zapier account into the official contributors at kubernetes.io zapier account so that automation is has that our Yes, that's our official blog post automation. Yeah, that's our official blog post automation tooling. Um, so it has migrated. If you see any issues with it, let me know. It should just work like it used to because it was literally a copy. Um, so yeah, the the next blog post that comes out should be handled by that. So it'll be interesting to see. Okay. And I just sent a note to Gfi about adding the Mastodon account and what's the process for getting an extra $120 a year. Sounds so good. We will use this Zapier for the automation, right? So yeah, that's, that's yeah, the, yeah. So if this you need, should be the. If you if you need access, let me know. Okay, uh, so it's it's okay. You have access, right? So it's not shared, or we don't have have it yet. We have it. It is shared. It has been shared with Nigel and I. That is it. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So I I think I don't know. Okay. Let's go to the status. Maybe then I'll get some update. Here. Yeah, if you need access, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like I can just give it to you. Let me double check with Bob. But yeah, like you're our automation person, right? So mm -hmm. have yeah, my, I think Atharva wants to try something out. So that's what I asked him last week, I think. And uh, yeah, at least either of us, maybe Atharva should at least have access to, to try out the prototype and start with it. Trying to find the DM thread with Nigel and me, and yeah, it's Slack. So give me a minute. Also, my camera has gone dark, hasn't it? It has. Hmm. What is going on there? Don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna try unplugging it and replugging it for Blame it on the rain. Uh, Pause my. Screen sharing. Knew it was going to ruin something. <laughs> okay, that's back. All right, there we go. Turn it off and back on again. Works most of the time. Kitten, you could play with your toy not on top of my computer if you wanted to. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> all righty um so with that let's move into the board um all right where are we on spotlights frederica um so uh, i would say pretty much the same uh that last time uh with the, the with the update that uh, I, I was actually missing uh, sending the link to the, or I sent the wrong link to the Cap Reading Club uh, contact. So obviously it didn't uh, do anything there because that was meeting. So I've corrected that. I have the document on Google Docs and uh, I hope that that's just what was, was missing because uh, there was no feedback because I hadn't uh, added the questions there yet. Um, in SIG architecture, uh, there's work, work still being done on the questions because as I said uh, last week, certainly, I think two weeks ago as well, um, we have expanded the number of participants because the, the leads have delegated to the sub project leads. And uh, we're, we're, we were discussing if we should do like a mini series around different projects in SIG architecture um, or just 
one and whomever uh, had the availability would uh, cover uh, those ones. I'm targeting this last one because I think it's simpler to have one uh, a single article, but I'm still finishing up the new questions uh, for it. So um, that's it for these two. But there are more, right? SIG networking, SIG CLI. Yeah. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. I I those ones I know that SIG the, the networking one uh is pending a, a, a final review, I think, but uh CJ can can, can update that. Which one is nearing final review? Yeah, that's the, the, sure, no, the, no, that 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 is the one that actually has an issue. It, it's not that one. It's the SIG networking. I'm not working on that one. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, I, I don't know if it's on the meeting. Uh, yeah. So our I can last update. update. Yeah, you, networking yeah, or Sujay is, is there? No, oh, yeah, yeah, networking. networking. Yeah. So uh, yeah. this week I was busy a bit with some random stuff, so no such progress. But I'm planning to finish it within next week for sure. Yeah. Cool. But um, the content is already there. When uh, it's uh, there are only a couple of uh, additional comments that I made, so th this is really almost there. Yeah, a little bit of refactor is needed. Just yeah, exactly. Uh, one. More We're thing. not waiting on anyone else. I think that's the important part. Where we already have yeah, the yeah. answers from from them, so it's up to us. Yeah. So one more thing, I'm not sure where to add this. Uh, I opened an issue for the Gates org membership. So, um, yes, that's right. Yeah, so I'm not sure um, where to add that one. I'm going to add that as a new item. Yeah, sure. Uh, I can no, add I that I still too. need to reply to that. <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to share the link to the issue, um, you're welcome to do that. I know that I need to respond to it. Um, Chris, I think you were going to also sponsor um, everyone else. Plus one did. <laughs> um, oh, perfect. I still need yeah, to. <laughs> if you haven't plus one did, go ahead. And then once that's done, I can start the PR. Although, am I supposed to do that if I... I'm a sponsor. Do I do the PR too? I guess I can. Yeah, why not? Ah, uh, dang. <laughs> and you're logged out. Find I'm all the find out. all the factors that you need and log in. I think I can log in through my uh, work profile. <laughs> yeah, my work profile I think is logged in. So I will just do that real quick. All right, commented. <laughs> if anyone else wants to add their plus one, I see no reason why not. Um, unless someone wants to correct me on that. So sounds good. Uh, it looks like I can't. Thought that I could edit the notes on the the draft for the SIG networking spotlight, but I guess that I can't. So Frederica, if you want to update the progress on it, I think that's a you thing. But I will just leave it. <laughs> So you are not logged in yeah. now. Oh yeah, that's probably why. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix that later. Um, moving on. Registry.kates.io social media is also still ongoing. So we'll leave that in, in progress. Um, spotlight on SIG CLI. That was ARPIT. ARPIT is not here. We have had some more folks join. If anyone is new to the call and you'd like to say hello and tell us a little bit about who you are and what you want to do here, you are welcome to do so in the chat. I'll recommend the chat for now as we try to work through the, the board, but I'll probably give you a chance later if you want to unmute and say hello, if anyone wants to do that. 
Um, you have a tab open for which one? Avanish? Oh, that's an off tab, off topic thing we are discussing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, I see. <laughs> All good. All oh, right, right. Uh, I already mentioned tweet planning. <laughs> we still haven't updated the GitHub team. Uh, <laughs> well, there's Not that no we use PR it for anything, for it, so. right? Like, well, I don't know. Is there? I don't think there I, is. I have no idea. I don't know. I know that I had it on my list from last week to help you with a couple, with creating a couple of issues. Um, and also to pester the CNCF about buffer. Did we do that, by the way? We didn't talk about that in the updates. I just asked um, Jeff. Pestering. Okay, cool. Yeah. Pestering the CNCF about um, we need more money for buffer because we're adding Mastodon. Mm -hmm. So let me, I'm just making sure that they are aware of that and ready for it. Before plug that in that. the notes real quick. But I That's a good idea. Also, we still need to go through and check to make sure that all of your notes about admining I, I are know. added to all of our stuff but it, i mean i think it's all there list. it's in <laughs> i mean no i actually some of it is not and i'm uh, yeah. i think i realized i need to put it in the lead role or the role books themselves yeah so yeah okay um all right we'll leave it in in progress then i guess unless you want to move it back to to do Uh, put it as in progress. Uh, now to do, leave it alone. Put it's it, already yeah. in in progress. Okay, fine. So we'll just leave it there. Good, good. All right, sorry. I was grabbing that to try to sign in over here. <laughs> Ugh, like doesn't have any of my stuff in right now. Right. Um, so that's all of the in progress items. For to do items, there are a whole bunch of spotlights. Once again, if anyone is new or looking for work to do, um, you're always welcome to pick up one of those SIG spotlights. We have information about the process for it uh, in our repo. And you're always welcome to ask in the Contribex comms channel, and someone will help you. Um, learn the process if you ever want to pick up a spotlight. Um, promoting new contributor workshop content also still on hold because of the uh, GitHub workspaces, code spaces integration, code spaces, right? That's what it's called. Um, so we're waiting for the GitHub code spaces new tooling to be integrated into the workshop so that folks can like do the hands-on parts through GitHub code spaces as they go through the content. Um, so we're waiting for that integration before we promote it. Uh, comms guidelines for sensitive security topics and sensitive topics in general. Someday we will maybe do that. Uh, retrospective on registry comms, still ongoing. So I'm not going to do a retro on it yet. Probably something, I think we already said this probably, but it's probably something that we could do at the contributor summit, though you won't be there. So that eh, we'll figure that out. Um, yeah, sorry. It, oh, my oh gosh, good. don't even get me started on our day zero event. <laughs> yeah, the whole uh, shift in day zero events is uh, interesting. Oh, let's just put it like you, this. Uh, I had to buy six lavalier mics this week just to cover the curveballs that have been thrown at me for our day zero event. Like it went from, oh, we should have a watch party in the office to, nope, we're going to be doing original content in the office mixed in with your day zero event. And it's like, huh? <laughs> oh my God. Event planning. <laughs> Um, Slackbot is still broken. That's that's just forever. <laughs> oh, and notify the comms team when a new issue is created. That's also something that still on the back burner. Cool. So I think to-do list is correct. In progress list is correct. There is one item that is ready for review. Uh, I probably should have started with that, honestly. <laughs> mm. 
the From Zero to Subproject Lead article. Frederico. Yeah. Yeah, so this uh, was, I, I think, the, the, the work of the week, let's call it like that, <laughs> to have something uh, advancing. So there was this um, sharing of experience from zero to subproject leads article um, that I think it was uh, actually Avinash that pinged us to, to go to the thread where it was being discussed in Seek Contribacts. Um, and uh, so during the week, what was done was the reviewing the, the text in Google Docs, then in HackMD. I also shared, shared it in the channel to get any possible feedbacks. And then I today I've, um, I've created the, the PR. So it's there. And now we're uh, going through the normal additional reviews um, from Tim and, and others. Awesome. You're a blog creating machine. <laughs> you are. It's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> I, the, the content is, is not mine, obviously. It's, it's just the, the process that I help with. So, Still valuable. <laughs> so cool. Love it. All right. I mean, our blogging processes are a little opaque. We have so many contributors who want to contribute content and it's hard for folks to learn. So it's really awesome that we have someone there to help direct like you do. <laughs> Actually, maybe we could have, um, this is a bit meta, but maybe we could use our Twitter and uh, and Mastodon to actually spread the word in that if, if, if anyone wants to share their uh, experience uh, that's whatever they they can um it, i don't think that they have any kind of landing page with instructions but i I'm, i don't think that that's necessarily needed maybe pointing them to our channel or something would would suffice but it, it could be just that most people do not know that they have the possibility yeah yeah I think that's a good idea. Our mm -hmm. goal with those channels is to communicate with contributors. We do have to be careful not to post things that trolls will get onto and spam us with things, but um, yeah. posting our True. Slack would be and, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just wouldn't want to exactly, point them yeah. to, yeah. Um, I don't and, know, and also, here, go ahead and create an issue or anything. <laughs> no, 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 uh, not at all. Uh, also, because I think that that could be uh, also uh, an issue with let's call it uh, low effort um, submissions, right? Because uh, there's a lot of stuff that, well, Kubernetes is a well-known project, right? So there are multiple ways of participating and some are just like ticking that checkbox, I've created something. And um, that's not exactly what we, we, we are after, right? We are after real experiences and content from people that want to be active in the community and not necessarily those that just want to have a, a here's me and I like Kubernetes article, right? Exactly. And our part can be, so, our group yeah. can be part of that uh, triage process. So sending them to our exactly. Slack. Is exactly. Perfect. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think that is it for the board. Um, if you ever move anything to done that you want to talk about, probably mention it in updates, big wins, because I don't know that I will notice it in here. I guess the registry.case.io frequently asked questions is done. I think we did that last time, though. And the what you need to know blog article are out. Yeah, we moved those last time. So I'm going to move back over to the table. All right. Oh, there's so little of it left. It's wonderful. <laughs> Um, automatically add a comment tagging GitHub comms team when a label is applied. You know, this is already in the table. So I've not deleted the, the, one the that uh, content from the table. I've just, uh, you okay, know, perfect. did a copy paste so that we can just track down things if something is missing or not. Perfect. I was just wondering um, if you had removed things or not. I think it's better not to, so, uh, so that we can go through it together. Perfect. So that would be, which one was that? Uh, comms team when an issue is created. Yeah, it's that one, right? And you already put all of those notes in here. Wonderful. Well, 
bunch of notes. Perfect. Oh, and I can edit this one. Oh, yeah, because I'm logged in now. Right. That's the thing. Wonderful. So I think we can remove this. I'm all for removals. Yeah. Um, so we have this concept tracked in the, the board. There's enough context, I think, there for us to get going. It's on the back burner anyway. So <laughs> when we come back to it, we'll have to figure things out again. So I'm going to remove this. Yay. Update contributor comms GitHub team. I think you also added this one. Right? Yeah, it's in the progress. Ah, right. Wow. You even move things to like where they should be and stuff. Amazing. I love how I like didn't even register that <laughs> those were things we normally go over in the table and they were now in the, the board. <laughs> All right, so I'm deleting that. Oh, not that way. Delete row. Yay. Slack bot is still broken. That's also there. Delete row. Contributor site, create a project overview page. Um, ah, we moved it to the board and marked as won't fix or haven't done that. <laughs> oh, I, don't I have done it. I've done it. Oh, yep. There it is. Wonderful. You really did all the things. This is perfect. Delete row. Um, and that's in there. So delete row. And contributor comms gold stars. That's a cool concept, but it'll probably never happen. I don't think that's over there, but that's probably fine. <laughs> All right. And the final task on the table is to delete the table. Mm -hmm. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The table is deprecated. Yay! Go team! Bye -bye, we changed David. something. <laughs> what was that? Wonderful. All right. Cool. Um, so with that, I'm going to run over to contributor tweets real quick so that we can look up that PR that I mentioned. Update Twitter together URL. Um, this was Castrojo. Yes. <laughs> um, and Imran, you LGTM'd yeah. it. You yeah, also I, have the ability to approve it if you want to. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Sure. And I already looked at it. I'll look at it again. I'll also add my LGTM. And then if you want to add an approve, just to make sure that that's mm -hmm. working. Let me check. LGTM. I think it worked sometime. Did you test it already? I think I sent, let, let me check again. For other, I tested it so it worked when he added, like, so let me check. Makes sense. And I've already issued a correction to the comms I've sent out for contributor sign up. <laughs> as one does all right so this one is approved it'll take it a little bit um to fix that up so yeah that's it for what i had today anyone have any other items for the last 13 minutes of our call just want to ask so yeah Atra, you want to go uh, sorry uh, avinash you want to go Okay, oh, you can ask. I'll, I'll then ask. <laughs> okay. No, I just want to ask: Is there any update happen on the Zapier? No, not on the Zapier account itself. Is there any prototype or something has been discussed in the past two weeks? I missed. I I could not see. I, I see some notes from Atharva regarding async. Maybe. Right. That's, yeah. I just yeah. asked him as well in a DM, so I'm not sure. No. With the account setup, yeah, I think yeah, we should I... give, we should get this rolling on. I think we should not wait for a long time. It's already too late. So... 
I Tarba that, had, like you said, mm -hmm. shared some uh, asynchronous notes for us for our last meeting. Mm -hmm. um, he said that he needed a dedicated meeting to discuss some of these things. Oh, uh, did we actually ping Atarva about the links issue? It's been a while talking about that last time. I don't know if we actually pinged him about it. We intended to. Uh, <laughs> so Imran, yeah. you can convey this if you're going to set um, up a meeting. <laughs> what's this? What links is that? I, I don't know. So when one of our big issues um, with Twitter together, and mm -hmm. honestly, with creating KubeCon EU tweets and anything pretty much that we do with Twitter is mm -hmm. that um, when you put a tweet into Twitter to post it and it has a link, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can put a pretty big link in there and Twitter automatically shortens it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. However, and, and it if doesn't you count are... against characters. That's the mm -hmm. biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you're, um, for example, using Twitter together and mm -hmm. you put that in as an issue, uh, as case. a PR, Twitter together checks for the length and it includes mm. the whole link. Yeah, yeah. So the 280 characters is not accurate for what you could actually post on Twitter. So it causes mm. our uh, tweets to be much shorter than they mm. otherwise would be. Um, mm -hmm. So that'll be an issue with this automation as okay. well, because mm. if you check for that at the issue stage, you will also have um, the link issue. Um, mm. But also, if you don't, then it might not work. So I don't know. But that's something to discuss. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the scheduling feature is needed for the Zapier as well to schedule the tweets or the buffer will do. There is this not scheduled and scheduled. What that? So the purpose of the Zapier automation workflow is for folks to be able to submit a tweet in GitHub as a PR. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they wouldn't have to go into Buffer or mm -hmm. have access to Buffer to be able mm -hmm. to use that workflow is the goal. Mm -hmm. um, so if they want it scheduled at a specific time, they would need some way to introduce that in the PR. Yeah. Either uh, that or we say that they have to ping us to schedule it. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I think... Like yeah. to start with, we can go with not scheduled feature. I think like we had the tutor together. Maybe later point we can add this. Otherwise, it will. I don't know. It's yeah. Yep. So there's a few things to discuss there, and it might just be that those are a little too tricky, and we just do them like Twitter together was, and mm. then we at least have a a workflow. It might not be perfect, exactly. but yeah. it'll be a workflow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let me check back with Atharva and maybe by next week we have some update on this. Sounds good. Any other ideas that folks want to Yeah, discuss? so uh, when, whenever we are sharing the forms for uh, the uh, spotlight, are we storing those forms for reference, future references or something on our drive or something? Um... Wait, which parts of the spotlights? So usually we uh, share a form uh, in order to get response from the leads. Okay, so like so the we, interview. Yeah, so are we storing the questionnaire, something like that? Um. So if you want to, there are a few files in our repo. There's a place for it. Um, not everyone has and not everyone has to, but... Uh, we do appreciate having the examples. Um, so if you want to, oh, I'm gonna go, okay, community, I'm just gonna find our repo this way, communication, computer comms, um, storytelling resources. In here, you can see an example interview. Um, this is for a spotlight. This was the one that I did for Windows. Um, we also are trying to track SIG spotlights in this, um, Frederico, I think we've probably posted some new ones that we haven't put in here. Oh, no, you did February or Imran put there, put his in. So yeah, we should pr try to remember that those exist <laughs> and update them. 
<laughs> but yeah, so if you ever want to share the um, interview questions that you used for a spotlight, you're welcome to create uh, a PR with the, the file and toss it in here. Um, these are examples. They don't have the answers currently, um, but I mean, up for debate what you think is useful. I would think that the published examples uh, end up being, so it's good to have that there, but having a pointer to past uh, a spotlight, I think it's the it's the best because there are different um, different ways to do it. There's not one single approach for spotlights. Each person will certainly ha add their own uh, touch to it. And I think that we have a, a, a collection of published ones which show different um, ways to do it. So anyone reading them can can pick and, uh, and match uh, whatever they they want, even because the six uh, themselves are different, right? Um, mm -hmm. But it's but yeah, but we need to make keep this updated. Yeah, I think the, yeah. I think it's exactly Frederick mentioned. So reading through several spotlight and understanding the different methods each author used would really help yeah, to finalize some way to, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. And there's also, by the way, a doc in here for the uh, SIG Spotlight blog process. So anytime anyone wants to do a SIG Spotlight, here's what you have to do. Any other questions, comments, and, and, topics? Frederica? More on spotlights? No, uh, just saying that uh, this is like uh, uh, completely appropriate for the spotlights, but then we also have that uh, more detailed description mm. of the of the blogging process that also relates to spotlights, right? Because that's what they are. Um, so yeah, it, I, I would say that this is a, a separate set of those guidelines with a bit more information. Yep. Definitely. Anyone who wants to contribute to blogs, you can find the information in storytelling resources. Maybe we should rename that. So we used to, when we originally started this uh, group, we called any member a storyteller. Um, and all storytellers can write blog posts and create social media and do all of those types of things where we communicate things, thus being storytellers. But I don't think that title really makes sense to anyone, <laughs> that anyone really cares about it. Um, so maybe we should consider changing the, the name of the repo to like blogging resources because it is all blogging resources. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, here's another example of uh, interview uh, questions. We should probably combine these and label them more usefully. And, yeah, I, I was <laughs> going to say um, at least I, I can have uh, uh, I can have a go at it or anyone else. But I, I, I if a uh, read me there that would like, uh, yeah, that, I mean, <laughs> true. But uh, obviously, opening this up for anyone that wants to participate, and just if. If we just yeah. add um, a readme there that organizes the files with some con with some context, right? So go here for the for the guidelines. Go here for the blogging guidelines. Here are past examples. I think it would be. Uh, it's personally, I always find it helpful to have like this uh, structured description of what the content is instead of a list of uh, file names. Uh, because I, it's, I need I need to click on each one of them to really know what they have inside. So I think this would make that um, that part of the resources uh, easier to use. I'm going to go ahead and create a board item for that. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Probably to to blogging resources. Yep. And then I'll edit this and say, where is it? Here, grab this link. 
Um, and there's that. And this is, it's not going to autofill you, is it? All right. Well, <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, there you are. Cool. I have added it to the board and assigned it to you, Frederica. So we'll check in on that next week. Perfect. Thank you. And now we have two minutes left. Um, so if any new folks want to introduce yourselves on the recording, because we are being recorded for YouTube, um, say a little bit about yourself and um, what you're hoping to get out of being here, you're welcome to do so now. Otherwise, I will end the recording. You're also welcome to do so after the recording ends. Alrighty, I am going to stop the recording. Bye everyone, bye YouTube.